Okay, we gotta pick one out of these three, so I think I'm just gonna go for, like, the Fusily, because I think I just wanna keep clearing the Fusily. There's quite a bit of stuff, basically the water again, we need to cut quite a bit of stuff, like beef chuck and all that. Um, yeah, it's uh, beef chuck into three, I think so. 150 into three, that's good. Onion into 15 gram. I think we can use a cutter to do that. The 15 grams seems small enough for that. But the mushroom into pieces of 8 grams. That's about one mushroom into four, or wait, no, into three. Um, and then the rest we can do that later. As long as we don't have to cut after cooking, that's fine. So we're just gonna pick this one and go. Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator. Bonus video, 5 star dish, and this dish is the Fast Beef Stroganoff over Fusilli. Already, we can see something is wrong. There has been an update 2.2.6 or something like that now, that's this version, and I already seemed to struggle a little bit with some of those actions, but I didn't attribute it to that. I tried out some stuff later and something is not right. Let's begin with this first. You see, we cannot really scroll very well now. I'm scrolling, you can hear my mouse scrolling. Okay, that's the first thing. I'll meet you back here in the prep phase. And then I'll show you what else is wrong. Oh, but um, this... Scrolling is fine though. Anyway, let's go. So we've got things flying all over while loading. And you can see that these things are glitched through these counters and whatnot. And yes, indeed, they were glitched. On top of that, if you've seen previous episodes, you would know that my deep fryer basket used to be here. You know where it went? Where did it go? It flew somewhere that I couldn't even see. It just flew somewhere. Where did it fly to? I don't know. But anyway, now you can see that both the ladle are on the floor. And um, my deep fryer basket is nowhere to be found. Okay, never mind. Let's bring it over here. So, I cleaned up everything, but um, it didn't really work well. So, yep. You can see that? Putting that in there knocked two other things away. Taking this up. Brought this with it. Taking the ladle up. Brought this with it. Plus, the bug with the mixtures still there. This was a pot of sour cream. But it's empty now. With nothing inside. <laughs> Anyways, I think I might have found a way to fix that. Put this here. And then throw this together. Does that work? Yay! Good. So at least we don't have to throw a pot, we don't have to um, like pour liquids and then pour it on the floor and whatnot. Take, throw, use these as a, like, a sacrifice. Anyway, let that be, it will put, it will just throw away, no worries about that. So yeah, this is not really related to the prep phase of the dish, but I still want to show you that that's a problem. Okay, now we can throw away all of these. Oh no, we need one more sacrifice. Will, will that help? I don't know. Will that help? I wonder. Even if it doesn't, so be it. Now, we need to prepare the beef chuck. Cut it into pieces of uh, 
Uh oh, 150 grams into 50 grams each. So again, might be a problem. So I've time traveled back and I may have not gotten everything. So let's buy some more utensils. And uh, the first thing we need is actually this one. Now we want to cut this one. Uh, no, not like that. Bring it over to here. Um, oh, actually, never mind. It's fine. Just cut both. Uh, 50 gram, right? So, yeah. That's okay. So let's look at the chunks that were cut. 59, look, that's 49, that's 1. We need 150, so 54 seems okay. 48 or 66 seems fine. 71, I mean, we can always trim them, can't we? 54, good cut. 50, there. We have a 50, a 49, and a 54. 46 and 44 You know what this 81 let's try Let's see if we get a better cut out of this like just cut the sides a little bit 51 yes indeed there we have it So we don't need the 54 anymore We're gonna keep it in here for level 2 of the dish so that's one set let's take a plate to hold it The next one would be onions. Let's discard all of this. Not necessary anymore. And um, I think we want to discard all of these too. Just leave this here. So we need onions. That means we need to leave this here. And I need another automatic tray. Let's take some onions. We need 15 grams cuts of the onions, so let's uh, put them, not everything, take up two, put two inside, cut, and then take the two, bring it with us, and uh, 17. That's okay. We need 120 grams of those things. 16. That's fine. And we have something dropped down here. Wonder what that is. 18. 18 is not good. Let's check this out. 16, 12, 11, 17, 17, 16. Pl plenty of 16s. We need some 14s and whatnot to take out some of the weight that we have extra and this one throw away. So let's uh, do a bit of a cut. Hopefully be able to get something out of it. Okay, 15 so that means 8 pieces. So we need 4 on each side, 3 cuts. Okay, and of course we don't want to check everything upon cutting, we need to cut a bit more before we check so that chances of having some good ones are better because we're so used to the cutting, we'll actually get better ones. Or maybe not. Okay, we've got a 14, that will counter the 16, so we've got only one 17 right there. Ha, ah, that's interesting, I might as well not cut those, right? <laughs> I can use the cutter for the, the 17, I mean the 16s. Could have used the cutters for all the 16s anyway, but never mind, anyways. Excuse me, these are really bad cuts. This one, 27. Let's just slice a little bit off. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Fifteen. The twenty-three might be helpful. Cut a little bit off. We'll see what happens. I hope I can just cut a little bit off. Good. Thirteen is fine. We'll settle that. Seventy-five. Take another 16. Take another 16. 107. So we need another 13 or 14 will do. 15 will be good. Wow, 16 again. Interesting. That'll be too much. Let's see if we can get something nice from here. Maybe a 12. I would prefer a 13, but a 12 is okay. Let's get a 12. So it's now more forgiving, thankfully. What is the next thing I need to cut? Oh, but but the mushrooms, yes. Leave that there for now. Shouldn't have placed it inside yet. So we need to cut it into... Cut a 25 grams into... Um, approximately 8 grams, so half of this and then divided by 3. So we can put it like that. Okay. And then halve it first. Ha 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 ha, what a job at halving it, huh? Never mind. Anyway, we can just keep on cutting and hope for the best. It's possible to. Like, just basically cut and hope for the best, and we have an approximately 8, which is this one. We have a 7, that's good. We have a 10, that's also okay. So, in total, we have a 20 something. 25, yes, indeed, that's good enough. The rest away that's all I'm curious though I'm very very curious take this bring it over to here cut we got 12 13 13 12 not good Take everything here. Of course it's gonna fly. Of course. And of course I'm just gonna be panicking and just place it there. Oh, I see now. I don't see this. Like, I literally did not see this at all, okay? You see that? You see that? You see how... My goodness, yeah. Yeah, you see? I couldn't even pick that up. And there goes the plate too. I don't want the plate. And where is it now? It disappeared. So yeah. Some of these bugs. Some of these bugs. They are bugs, right? Aren't they? Now, one more thing. Load this up. Look. ta -da! Unload it. ta -da! Yeah. Another bug. Well, anyway, I'll meet you back here for the serving phase. I'm just gonna move this down. To, um... Behind here, I guess. Yeah, sure. Fast beef stroganoff over fusilli. This dish is unique in that the level 1 dish was the last to be recorded. 1000 ml of water, salt, and fusilli, 160 grams. Let's go. We'll get the water from here. Because why not? Be very careful not to have the water go outside. Fusely. Oh, hang on.
I think that might be enough. Oh, nice. Okay, split them up. All right, and sixty seconds later. Was this the first one? I think this was the one that I prepared. So, let's see. All of the cuts are okay. Add to a pan. Olive oil 20 ml. Beef chuck 100 seconds. Okay, before we start, what's next? Clarified butter, oh, add to the same pan, clarified butter and whatnot. 100 seconds. Twenty ml clarified butter, 5 grams white pepper. Twenty one, twenty two, so twenty twenty one. White pepper, five grams. And then chicken broth, hundred and fifty ML. enough time okay black pepper 3 grams Add the rest, and that's it. Get ready. Good. Ladle. So transfer into a plate, beef chuck, and then add the clarified butter, white pepper, mushroom. It's okay, we can do this first, no problem. Add that in. Suppose this is clean. Then we can take these out. <laughs> By right, that shouldn't be the correct steps, but okay, never mind. This is where the game is considerably tolerant. Spread them out. Good. 30 seconds Add to the pan the broth and the beef and onion and boil Ready Uh, no better not Right now, we want to add this. I think it's better to do it this way. Spread them out. Ooh, be careful. Boil for 60 seconds, transfer and serve.
right? Casserole. Uh, <gasps> uh oh, I didn't boil this, did I? Sixty seconds. I'll meet you back here when it's done. Oh, the button mushroom seems a little bit weird. Yep, seems a bit weird. Take everything? Including the onions? Beef chuck onion mushroom serve hot. No garnish. Now, doesn't it look a little weird? Like, um, yeah, it's like. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Take a picture. Leave it be. And let's go serve it. We got our five stars. Now, let's see. Complaints, nothing. So that tiny sliver of uncookedness is okay, right? Well, anyways, yeah, pretty straightforward. Just with a lot of um, cooking, stopping, cooking, stopping, cooking, stopping, adding, adding, adding. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next episode. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.